Direct parameter calculations offers or provides a very powerful feature for calculating the value of certain parameters to meet certain conditions. And I want to illustrate that with this problem. We have a pump pumping from a reservoir into this distribution system and providing 70 PSI at this node. Suppose that we want to run the pump at a higher speed or put in a more powerful pump that will provide 80 PSI at this node. This node is junction number 5. We can do that by setting up using a logical text input a constraint statement of this form. We want to maintain a pressure of, we can type in 80 PSI, this will be at node, we can select the node, it was node 5. We want to calculate from these various choices the pump speed for pump and the only pump in the system is pump 1. So this maintains a pressure of 80 PSI at node 5, calculate the pump speed for pump 1 and we'll apply this constraint. Now we go back to the map and we analyze this using the KY pipe engine and we see now that we do have 80 PSI here and we can go look at our report and scroll through it and find out exactly what the pump was done and here it's showing us that the pump was operating at 1.057 or 5.7 percent higher than the speed uh, for which the pump data was provided. So this direct parameter calculation offers the ability to calculate diameters, regulator settings, tank levels, pump speeds, and a great variety of, of uh, parameters that will assist you in doing design and operating calculations.